his name. What do you want to do tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. This is Justin and Erica from You Are Creators, and we have a special guest, UFC lightweight James Krause. Welcome, James. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. Hey, James, can you just do us a favor and just give our audience a little background on who you are and what the UFC is, because some people may not know. Yeah, so I guess the easiest way to put it uh, would be the UFC is kind of like the NFL of fighting. So it's pretty much the highest level of the sport that, that you can get to when it comes to mixed martial arts. So um, it takes a lot to get there. It's, you know, it's not just anybody goes. It's kind of an invite only type of deal. You have to you have to have had, you know, trained and competed for a long time and, and beat some beat some good uh, competition to get there. So it's uh, if you are there, it's it means that you've done some good things in your career at some point in time. Absolutely. And James is there, which means he's done some great things in his career. He's a top match fighter. Um, and guys, just to give you all a little understanding, these fighters are so extremely tough. Yeah. Um, our son, he does MMA right now, and it's so much even for a little child. So I can imagine what it is for <laughs> an adult. They are extremely 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 tough and it takes a lot of talent and these guys are just awesome so we are so excited for james to be here with us today and share some of his law of attraction wisdom with us as well so james question yes how did you first get introduced to the law of attraction um i it's there's kind of a, a story behind it i guess not really um I had been through some low points in my in my career, and really just in life, not my career, I should just say, in life. And they weren't like super lows, but for me, they were super disappointing. Uh, I was coming off of of a loss on the Ultimate Fighter, which was at the time I thought it was my <clears throat> my chance, you know, to to finally hit the big stage. And uh, and I had, I was in jobs, I, I still worked, and I just I wasn't really happy with what I was doing, uh, you know. I, I was I was good in sales and stuff like that. I just, you know, it wasn't what I wanted. So I was kind of in a slump uh, in my 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 work career and just mentally, you know. And uh, I had a guy take me under his wing, kind of, and uh, really just open my open my mind up. You know, I, I just I consider him my my mentor and and really kind of introduced me to a lot of these these concepts, uh, you know, like that. So. Uh, I, I, one of the first things I did was listen to or watch, uh, The Secret, obviously, and, uh, it's, The Secret is one of my, I consider it one of my, my, my three or four Bibles, you know what I mean? I have the, The Secret, I have Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Think and Grow Rich, uh, those three really are, I listen to them more than any, and I, I repeat them, you know, there's a lot that I, I'll right. listen to a book and then I'll, I'll put it away for a while and I'll get another one. But every once in a while, I will, uh, I will just repeat those back, you know, just because they're so important to me. Right. Awesome, James. Awesome. Okay, so what are some of your daily rituals in conditioning your mind, James? Well, you know, as 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 anybody that is a fan of this knows, it is very very easy to kind of well for me anyway I guess it's different for everybody it's very easy for me to get back to my old ways of thinking and and not because I'm still you know I'm still fairly new to this concept you know I'm, I'm probably two years deep into this so it's still not embedded into my brain just you know 100 you know, percent I believe I'm fully bought in on the concepts but if I don't you know listen to stuff if I don't try to develop every single day I, it's very easy for me to fall back luckily for me i'm able to kind of identify when that happens so uh right. <clears throat> when i'm on my a game when i'm in my best my prime mentally uh, i'm usually waking up early in the morning and and making myself uh breakfast and just i feel like it just makes me i, I feel like it sets the tone for me to have a better day i make myself breakfast and i listen to you know, it, it might be a book, it might be a, a motivational video on YouTube, it could be a number of things, but I try to listen to some something new 
or something that really hits home uh, every day when I'm making myself breakfast. Awesome, James. You know what? Um, you should check out UR Creators. Like, oh, I we absolutely have will. Tons of free audio books that really condition the mind, James. Really, we do. How important is it to visualize? In the fight game. Oh, man, I cannot tell you guys how <laughs> how important it is, uh, and not just in the fight game. I think I think it's important everywhere. Uh, you know, I made a a business move today that uh, this is no joke, guys. I've been up since three thirty this morning. Are you uh, serious? Yeah, I, I, and I'm a guy that like I can't I I just I can't slow down if I have something important coming up. I can't turn my brain off. I just I, I have right. to. I kind of so obsess. Okay. You know, I kind of obsess over how I'm going to do these things. And uh, so I've been up since three thirty this morning, and, and I can't really go into a ton of detail on what it was. But I hit a very big milestone in my business career. Awesome, I'm a man. gym. I'm a gym owner. So we had a huge, huge breakthrough today, and uh, it was a very important meeting. And I've just been. You know, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I just couldn't go back to sleep. And and to answer your question. You know, I was just visualizing. I, I probably had this meeting a, a minimum 500 times in my head. You know, and obviously, <laughs> any any time you visualize something, uh, whether it be a fight, which I visualize fights all the time. Uh, I like to end practice, and I'll take five minutes of just when you're just dog tired and you just want to quit, you want to go home. I'll take five minutes, and and I force myself to visualize, you know the the fight the bad things that happen and, and it always ends the same way you know I always figure out a way to come on top and I think that's obviously right. the most important part of visualizing. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so what are some of your visualization techniques that you use? Jen? Um, with with visualizing, they the the majority of people like to do it in in silence. You know, they say fifteen minutes of silence a day. For me, man, I live a crazy life, it, and not <laughs> not crazy in the sense of you know clubs and and girls and stuff like that. I'm married, and I uh, I own a couple businesses, and I fight in the UFC. So it's you know if I'm not training, I'm working on working on the gym, or I'm setting up. You know, I'm I'm always doing something. I can't just go home right. and sit on the couch. It's just not me, you know. Uh, so I don't get the 15 minutes like you know like a lot of people <laughs> do, and and I really don't want it. Uh, you know, when I go home, it's usually time to spend with my wife. So, okay. uh, I like, like I said, I like to visualize after practice. Whenever your mind is just rough, whenever your body is just worn down, and you just want to quit, you you don't want any more. You visualize yourself pulling through that, and and you know, overcoming this obstacle that's right in front of you. Uh, I'm also a very vocal person. Like I like to uh, talk to my. Eh, it's weird when I say it like that. Talk to myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But I like to, you know, I think with visualization comes, you have to really believe it. So, like, one thing, it's kind of, it's it's super weird. My, the, the, the main guys in my gym all are bought in on this concept. So, like, we have, like, unwritten rules that we've never talked about, but we all do it. Um, you know, let's say I have teammates that have huge fights coming up. So, like, the other teammates will rally around this one guy and, and we'll just be yes men. Every single day, like, oh, man, you are just an absolute killer. Like, th this is not even going to be a good energy. fight. You're going to kill this guy. It's not even gonna be you're just on another level. And at first, you're like, right. shut up. This is going to be such a tough fight. Because in the UFC, they're all tough fights, man. They're like, mm -hmm. I just, I literally <laughs> got, really I just got a fight. Uh, I can't say who it is. I just got a fight probably an hour ago. Who is it, James? I can't tell you. I wish I could, man. I'm, it, man? I'm, I'm chomping at the bit. I wish I could. But, okay. but you know, and now these guys are going to tell man, you're going to smoke this dude. And at first, I'm going to be like, man. Shut up, you guys. This is a, such a tough fight, and it will be a tough fight. It's an exciting fight, but, man, by the end of my training camp, these guys just have me convinced that I'm just the most ruthless killer on the planet, and, and nobody can touch me. And we all just kind of do that without even talking to each other, without even telling each other. We all do it. So it's a team effort. You know, it's super important to us, and we all we all help each other out. Yeah, that's awesome. awesome. Okay, so what other fighters in the UFC – know about this law of attraction you know i'm not real sure uh i know there's there's some guys that are uh that are big on it i'm not sure if they're i don't know if it's the law of attraction that they believe in i you know i really don't know i i think still to this day guys i think it's a hidden gem i really do i don't think 
very many people practice it, like truly practice it. I make it a part of my routine. Like it's, you know, I go train and it's, it's part of my training regimen. Like it's scheduled in, you know, it's right. not just something I do on the side when I have time. You know, I schedule these things in. It's part of my training camp. Uh, and I don't think it's, I don't think a lot of the fighters think it's quite that important yet. And I'm here to tell you guys, it, it has changed my life and I can give you my okay. whole story if you want, but it, you know, I, it has literally changed my life on how I think, and uh, it, it's crazy how it works. It really is, and and when I tell my story, it's so crazy. It, it is. So it, it is. It's nuts. So, so, what are some of the goals that you have accomplished with this wonderful knowledge, James? So, one of my claim to fame. You know, the the highest point in my life, and I can I can honestly say this is the best moment of my life. Um, I came off uh, the Ultimate Fighter. I lost. I got got to hurt. I got yeah. I I lost. I got hurt. Right. And then I uh, I came back and I want to say I fought three or four times, and 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 I got back on a, a little streak. And you know we were always working to get back to the to the UFC, or yeah, to get back to the UFC because I was on on the Ultimate Fighter, whatever. Uh, and I finally got the call.